this tutorial is how to make this English toffee, either with pecans or without. It does take a few hours to completely finish, but it's only about 15 minutes of active prep time for this recipe. For this project, you'll need a cutting board, a cooking sheet, a small Pyrex dish, I think mine is eight by eight, a small saucepan, a cup of pecans, a cup of granulated sugar, a cup of salted sweet cream butter, three tablespoons of water, and your chocolate chips. I prefer bittersweet chocolate chips, but you can use milk chocolate as well. You'll also need a wooden spoon, a metal spoon, and a large knife for chopping. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Begin by chopping up your pecans. Then spread those out on your baking sheet and pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes to get all toasty. While that's happening, go ahead and cube your butter. Then put that in your saucepan with the water. Now begin melting that on high heat. Once the butter is completely melted, begin gradually adding the sugar. Make sure you're stirring constantly or your mixture will burn. Now this is probably going to take anywhere from 5 to 8 minutes to turn the right color and I'm looking for an amber color. In the meantime, I'm going to make sure I keep stirring constantly to keep this from burning. And when it does turn the right color, it's going to happen really fast. And then immediately when it reaches that amber color, pour it into your pan. And then leave that to cool for about eight to 10 minutes. So I checked this at eight minutes and it wasn't quite firm enough, but now it's a little bit firmer. It's been about nine minutes. So I'm gonna add some chocolate chips on top. Then I'll just let those sit and melt for a couple of minutes. Then I'll come back and swirl them. And that melted the last of the chocolate. I'll just smooth it out with the spoon and then leave that to set. After a few hours when the chocolate is completely dry, score around the edge of the pan to separate it a little bit and then flip it over and pry it out. If you're having trouble getting it out of the pan, you can heat up the bottom of the pan on a burner or what's a bit safer is heating up another metal pan and then setting it on the bottom of your tray. You don't want to heat it up too much, just enough to get the oils to kind of loosen up from the bottom of the pan then it will simply fall out. Next, you can break up the toffee. I like to use a large knife to do this because there's less of a chance of the chocolate separating from the toffee. And that is your finished toffee. Now you can put it on a nice tray and send it out for a party or put it in a cute little bag and send it off as gifts. 